kind of disgusting slop concoction are my eyes looking at right now? So a little while ago, there was a mom who went viral over on TikTok for making some of the most unhealthy looking meals I've ever laid eyes upon. She was preparing these meals specifically for her very young kids, one of which is a, a baby. We're talking about glazed and powdered donuts for breakfast, fried food, chips, fast food. And I was a little torn on the subject. I thought maybe she was getting a little too much backlash. You know, maybe she was just inexperienced with cooking and, and meal prep for the kids. But recently, I came across yet another one of her posts. And uh, I decided to check up on what's been going on on her page recently. Maybe her cooking skills have improved and, and healthier meals are being made. But oh boy, was I wrong. I was concerned for the kids before, now I'm genuinely scared. Plate dinner for my three kiddos with me. Dinner. I love you. A nice and healthy, nutritious, homemade meal. As you can see, there's nothing quite as healthy for a two-year-old than chicken nuggets, fries, and a burger from Wendy's. Gotta give credit to the little apple slices too, though. I'm sure of the few pieces of those is gonna offset that big plate of fat and cholesterol. I love how it took a grand total of one second before seeing a, a fast food logo on one of these videos. Like a big-ass bag of Wendy's shouldn't be the first thing you see when watching a, a food preparation video for your little kids. Fast food isn't cheap either, that shit is getting expensive as hell. Wouldn't it be much cheaper at this point to get healthier, fresh food at the grocery store that'll last for multiple meals? Even some frozen veggies and, and chicken would have been healthier than this. Two-year-old's play. Seven-year-old's play. And five-year-old's play. Have a good night. Oh boy, you could even hear the, the two-year-old mumbling in the background. He smells the food. He recognizes that fast food smell and knows it's feeding time. My god, this is not a diet for a little kid. Even as a grown man, I'm looking at this plate and this would make me full. This plate of food would fill up most healthy, non-slobified, fully grown adults. Probably not this mom though. At that weight, she probably genuinely doesn't understand the scale of how much food the average healthy person eats. And I don't even mean that as a joke because this might even be a small meal for her. This might just be a snack. So maybe her logic is that just because it's not much for her, it must be a, a proper meal for the kids? But yeah, if you thought that maybe this was a one-off fast food order, you're wrong. This next one is one of her most recent videos from five days ago, actually. So maybe a healthier dinner this time? Yummy food. Yummy. 
seven-year-olds play, two-year-olds play, five-year-olds play. And they're having water. Have a good night. Or have a good day. Love you guys. It's even more fast food. Even more. Like, what happened to cooking the meals? Did this person just throw in the towel with cooking and is now buying fast food instead with some of that TikTok money? I think this is common sense, but if you continue feeding your kids a bunch of greasy fast food slop, they're gonna grow up to be large, rotund, spherical individuals. Trust me, you'll be one big happy family if it continues like this. And you gotta love some of the comments not only defending this, but actually supporting it. What the fuck? And that's okay. You don't have to tire yourself out more when you're already exhausted. Quick and easy dinner and you'll be able to get some rest. Girl, she's been doing quick and easy dinners five times a week. Keep doing you, mama. Your babies are doing great. They probably look like her. Pure fat and cancer. Never in my life have I witnessed pure child intoxication of fatty fast foods in my existence. Someone should report this and get her some help before this all goes to shit. Now, I was wondering if any cooking was still being done on this TikTok page, and I did manage to find a meal being made. I'm still waiting for just one single healthy thing to be added to this bowl of fuck. This is actual slop. I wouldn't even feed this to farm animals, let alone a two-year-old. This almost looks like something you would eat as like a dare or challenge of some kind. Like try not to throw up. Just dumping powder in there. Ugh. And then you got all those packaged sausages. There's no way in hell this is a, a proper diet. Five-year-old's plate, seven-year-old's plate. When the baby carrots are by far the most appetizing thing on that plate, maybe it's time that you look some recipes up. I mean, this makes cafeteria food look like a Michelin star restaurant. Like, this shit should be illegal to not only make, but then to feed to other human beings, let alone a little kid. There needs to be some kind of law introduced where you need to feed your kids a, a healthy diet. Is that really controversial? There's no way this should be legal. Now to end off the video, I actually did manage to find quite possibly the healthiest meal I've ever seen this mom cook. 
one of the only healthy meals I've ever seen being made on this account. And I'm not trying to cherry pick these videos. I felt like I should include this one just because the impossible has been done and she is capable of making something better. Steak, veggies, maybe a little less mac and cheese, but overall a rare healthy meal. Almost like a shiny Pokemon. If only this is the new direction of the TikTok account, making healthy meals for the kids instead, because it is possible. Everyone's capable of making nutritious meals instead of whatever the fuck this is, and these fast food mukbangs. I'm trying to end the video on a more positive note, hopefully things will improve, but I don't know. I made a video on this seven months ago, and things for the most part, have not gotten better. Probably worse, actually, and a lot of these meals the kids are eating are genuinely concerning. Like I said, there needs to be some kind of diet law introduced, especially when taking care of kids. And people doing this on social media shouldn't be given a platform either and should be banned immediately. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole situation. Should this type of content even be given a platform on social media? Should the law be introduced? Does someone need to get involved? Let me know. Leave a comment. Peace.